Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us on this Tuesday, December the 12th, 2023. For truly, it is always an honor and a pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And I appreciate each and every one of you who have decided to allow this ministry to share with you Tuesday through Thursday of every week in the Word of God. And I want to uh, just say thank you. We cover so many demographic areas, and I don't take it lightly. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you, no matter where you may be listening in from, uh, looking at our statistics, and we get the report on Sundays. I saw it yesterday, and I just sat with my computer screen, open up to this email, the biggest part of the day. And I just want to just, I'm in awe uh, for our presence in Nigeria, United Kingdom, India, and in Russia. And it's, I just look at this every single week when they come in and I'm saying, God, you're just awesome and you are absolutely amazing and I'm going to tell you that I, I felt the power of God so strong on yesterday. And uh, so moving forward, what we're going to do is every week as we get those reports in in the areas that have been tuned in the most, you know, I know they give us four a week, uh, but that is going to be my time of intercession and prayer for those demographic areas for that week and so uh, for this week our demographic area of prayer is in Nigeria United Kingdom India and in Russia so those are our areas of praying for your demographic areas on this week I thank God for each and every one of you no matter where you are, I thank God for each and every one of you. And I know that God is doing something wonderful through this ministry of radio. So excited. Which brings us to what we're going to share on today. Um, I didn't realize it until today. And even as I just said that, um, God has a way of introducing us and bringing us into the next phase of our ministry. And I can honestly say for the past year, because I believe it was last year that um, I've always had this inner passion. I shared it um, about painting and I've always wanted to do creative things, make jewelry. I always wanted to do that. And we've been doing that recently and I do everything for Hope and Truth magazine. Um, and then this morning I was uh, plugging up a machine that I'm going to learn later today. Um, and, and it just really hit my spirit that we're in the next phase of our vision. Next phase of the vision. And it reminded me of one of my favorite people. You know who it is. If you listen to The Balance of Life, you already know. You already know that one of my favorite people to study is none other than Nehemiah. That's right. Nehemiah is one of my favorite people to study. And within the study of Nehemiah, we identified eight phases that he did in rebuilding of the 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 gates over in the book of Nehemiah and as I was sitting here and it came to me you're in the next phase of your vision I was reminded of the teaching of Nehemiah how he went through a phase of completing and rebuilding and do you not know that sometimes if we don't pay attention to it and I love the way God does things he'll let us know after the fact and that's the way he works. So here we are. You are, uh, your interests are changing for your business and your organization. And 
some things that you thought about a long time ago, you are finding them more interesting now. That you are moving it from a thought process to actually putting into action. And I am learning, I thank God so much, that that is how he brings us into the next phase of our journey. And so some things that we really, really just were stuck on, um, we're moving past that. And we're being introduced to things that were laying dormant in us. It could be your um, the way that you study. It could be you wanting more knowledge of Christ. And even in the expertise area that you were in, you're trying new techniques for your organization, for your business. And you are incorporating what you already know and you're expanding the Jabaz prayer says, expand my territory. And that is bringing us into the next phase of the vision that God gave us. And so I am so excited. Uh, I am embracing more and more this next phase. And oftentimes I sit and I say, what is going on with you, angel? You're interested in doing this, and it's not a new interest. It's an interest that I had, but at the time, I might have checked it out here and there and didn't go any further, and, and that's true. Um, but when the Holy Spirit begins to lead and guide me, and I am learning to move expeditiously, I am learning to gather the things that I need and then wait for him to tell me to move and I'm just sitting here in awe and I said you have just moved me into the next phase of ministry even on yesterday when we were looking at the demographic areas that we were most frequented in on last week I know that I keep in prayer our listening audience but yesterday the Holy Spirit began to direct me in another area and I began to pray and intercede <clears throat> specifically for those demographic areas and I, I I'm going to be honest with you. I begin to repent and say, was I supposed to have been doing this already? Uh, did I miss something that you were telling me to do? Um, I don't think that I missed it. I think that it's another phase of ministry for us. Um, because I like to be strategic in what I do for the kingdom of heaven. I am a firm believer of Romans 8 chapter 26 27 the verse where it says we know not what we ought to pray for but it is the spirit the holy spirit that maketh intercession for us groanings that we cannot be uttered i believe in allowing the holy spirit to lead and guide me and i believe in strategic prayer i don't want to just jump into prayer just to say i'm praying I, I want to be strategic. I want the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me. I want to pray the will of God. And so even today as I was sitting here and I was, it came to me, you're in the next phase of the vision. I just, I, you, you have no idea what that meant to me in my spirit. And then I began to look over the past year and I said, wait a minute, I've been in the next phase for a while, if I am to look back over the different things that God has shifted and shown me and that we have done, I can truly say, and I didn't know it, and so, you know, I don't mind being transparent here. I can definitely become transparent with you because I want you to know the reality is that we don't always know exactly when it happens. 
We don't always know. It is the Holy Spirit that reveals. It is the Holy Spirit that shows us. And so I said, oh my gosh, I have been in the next phase over the past year. And so what we're about to do is another phase. And I remember, I'm going to share something with you. I remember when I first started out as a published author. And I was doing some things, and my son, I don't know if you'll remember this, but the Holy Spirit brought it back to me, gave me a word that he saw me doing certain things. Because back then, we, you know, whenever I did an event, we would have products to sell. Uh, which my first assistant, my forever, ever good friend, my pusher, Jeanette, introduced me on how to do custom coasters, soaps, things of that nature. And I remember my son sitting in our living room said, he saw me doing different kinds of things. Um, And I'm going to tell you, now at the time, I did do some canvas bags, but those things are coming back now some custom items and so the holy spirit was bringing that back to me now i'm going to tell you that was back in 03 okay that my first book was published i think yeah well that was the magazine so maybe 2013 somewhere up in there so my first book which is words thoughts and inspirations my son gave me a word And do you not know that now we are in an area of working on that very word? We're in another phase. And I wanted to encourage your heart and your mind today. I want you to pay attention to where you are in your journey of the vision. Don't look at things as that you lost interest or... No, you did that. You accomplished that and you did well. It was awesome, but you've already did that. And so it is time to go to the next phase. The vision was never meant to be stagnant. The vision was never meant to be in a long, drawn-out phase of just the repeated cycle. If you could imagine a blank campus canvas it's blank it's white it's beautifully white there's nothing on it and you have a vision of what you want to see on that canvas and whether you begin to etch out and draw or however you go about your artistic flow but you begin to trace in and you begin to draw and you begin to paint. Some people do freehand painting. They don't need to draw first. But it is layer upon layer upon layer. Dimension, dimension, dimension. Phase after phase after phase. Until the work is completed. And is it really completed? Because every time we look at what we think is complete, we see something else that will bring more essence to it. And that is the same for your life. Every time we think that we have hit the pinnacle, that we have reached the mark, that, oh, I did it. God is saying that there is more beauty and more essence to come from your life. And that it is time for you to go to the next phase. You have outgrown the phase that you're in. And so in order to really experience the fullness of Christ and all that he has for our lives, we must have a mindset of I'm in continuous growth. I am growing. I am growing. I'm in another stage. You are never meant to be an embryo forever in your mother's womb you were meant to grow 
in her room in her womb to the time of birth so you were a seed and then you grew you went through different stages of growth in the womb and then it was time for you to come forth well you have come forth and you are here and then your life goes through stages and phases that is what God desired until we leave this earth. That we continue to grow in stages and in phases and that our experiences turn into lessons. And no, you are not going to be in the infant stage forever. No, you're not going to be a toddler forever. No, you're not going to be an adolescent forever. But you, you go through phases and you grow. And so understand what phase that you were in. What stage are you in? I tell you, I got so excited when I heard the Holy Spirit said, You are in another phase of the vision. That's wonderful. That is absolutely awesome. I love him for that. To God be the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to join up with you to share the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And you know what? We did share... Um, our nuggets this morning from our leadership awareness class. I didn't forget. No, I did not. Um, in leadership awareness class, we uh, had such an awesome time. I did post it on the Facebook page for the Balance of Life, some nuggets that we took away. We took a look at 1 Samuel 10th and 13th chapters for our reading. And listen, so I'm going to share with you the key points that we shared in class. Being in a leadership role does not exempt us from obedience. Always stick to the instructions given by God, no matter what it may appear to look like. Yes, God will test those he has selected for a leadership role to see if he can trust them to handle the assignments. I know, it's a little tight, right? Excuses for disobedient cannot be justified. That's awesome. And so, if you are interested in joining one of our leadership awareness classes, please feel free to email us at aFergusonMinistries at gmail.com. Or you can email us here at the Balance of Life one at yahoo.com. Let us know that you would like to attend a leadership awareness class. We have leadership awareness classes every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. It's a 45 minute class, so I don't hold you very long, but we go strategically over into leadership. And our motto for leadership awareness is uh, starts with discovering leadership awareness starts with, just, just with discovering the type of leader that you are. So that's what leadership awareness is, discovering the type of leader that you are. All right. So and, and our morning inspiration is really based off of what the Holy Spirit was saying to me about embracing this new phase. And so you will find our morning inspiration on the Facebook page for The Balance of Life as well. We're just having an awesome, awesome, wonderful time in the Lord. And, and listen, I have to share this with you because God is so absolutely good and amazing. When I tell you I get chastised, I really do. And uh, I share those chastising moments with you because I want you to do better. That's right. I think the number one role in being an effective leader is being transparent. Because sometimes in a leadership role, we may put on the persona that we're perfect. And we're not. We get checked. We get, we get reproved. We get chastised. We get rebuked. We get corrected. 
for the sake of righteousness so that we lead well. And so on last night, um, first of all, I was not feel, feeling very well, um, and I was tired. And so I know I needed to get ready for class this morning. And my flesh, okay, I'm going to be real honest with you. My flesh said, oh, just do something else. Make it a day of intercession. And as soon as the thought entered my mind, the Holy Spirit was right there to say to me, don't shift because you did not plan well. I'm like, ouch. Because what I needed to do is I needed to get my lesson plan ready for this morning, what we were going to cover. And as soon as that thought hit my mind, I'm telling you, soon, soon, soon. I don't even think I got a chance for the thought to marinate. <laughs> That's just how quickly the Holy Spirit said, don't you shift because you did not plan well. Get back on course and finish this assignment. And when I heard that, listen, I said, that is a great lesson. And as I, I posted it last night, because listen, I can be transparent. I'm not perfect. I get corrected. I get chastised. I get rebuked. But thank God for grace and mercy. Thank God for his loving kindness. Thank God that he loves me enough to chastise me, to correct me. Thank God that I have a spirit of humility and that I walk in obedience. At that point, I had decision-making power. I could have decided to just go on with my fleshly plan and expect God to honor it? Oh, God, help me. So here's what happens when we make carnal decisions versus spiritual. We want God to bless it. And when it does not work out right, we're trying to figure out why. Well, we did not consult God. What intercession have to do with me teaching this morning? I can still intercede. I did it yesterday. Uh-huh. Yep. I did it yesterday. And I still taught our 10 a.m. class. Had reading time at the 7 p.m. class. And I still interceded. So what did I have to do with today? So you see how if we don't get our flesh in order, we're going to get in trouble. So that was our thought for last night, and it turned into our lesson for today. And then, as I was thinking about it, I said, okay, this is our lesson. The Holy Spirit reminded me of King Saul shifting and looking at the excuses that he gave. He tried to justify his excuse for going ahead of God. And so that thought last night, that experience last night turned into a lesson. You see how good God is? I thank God that I heard the Holy Spirit. And I repented. I said, oh Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. Because I was going to do something that I thought he would be pleasing with. Yes, he wants me to pray and intercede, but that should not supersede the assignment he gave me. And in a leadership role, we are all going to come up past though we're, we're going to pass those things. When I tell you that that right there is next level, that's next level. And I said, oh, God, help me. Help me, help me, help me. I thank God for that. 
I thank God for his grace and mercy and for just how he just helps me along the way. That's right. He's helping me along the way. And he's helping you along the way as well. So I want you just to understand this one thing, my fellow laborer in the Lord, because that is who you are. We are laborers together. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Take a look at where you are. And I want you to just, I want the Holy Spirit to just reveal to you what phase that you were in, in your time of ministry. In your organ, whatever God gave you to do, you should be able to look in, and see the different phases that you were in you should be able to look back and see where you've come from the growth and the maturity you should be able to look and see your faith how you have stepped out as they say in faith you are walking by faith and not by sight that fear of moving forward is removed from you and you just have this tenacity about yourself that you, you know what, well, I'm just going to trust God. I'm just going to move ahead in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just going to persevere in this thing. That's right. That's the next phase of your faith. Your faith goes through phases. If we do it according to the word of the Lord, that's right. If we look at the word of God, our faith should go through phases. And it is exemplified in the word of God. Do you not know that your faith, you're supposed to add to your faith? Mm -hmm. That's right. If we add to our faith, then we are going about the phases to our faith. We're supposed to add to it. When is the last time that you uh, added to your faith? Ask yourself that question. Add to it. I'm adding to my faith. I want to add to it. I don't want it just to be, you know, uh, you know, just mundane and, and stuck. So let's take a look at that scripture text. We have enough time to go over there. I'm going to go over to 2 Peter. Mm -hmm. First chapter. Let's start at the, oh, I got time. Let's start at the third verse. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and goodliness, godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, phases. Embrace the phases. You are in the next phase. Many. Check, check yourself out. Check yourself out. You have grown. You have matured. You are in the next phase of the vision. And if... You are in the same phase. Find out what is holding you back. Find out what is hindering you. Find out what thoughts you are entertaining. And repent. And say, okay, Lord, let's go. I love you without measure simply because I believe in the potential of you. Have a great day, everyone. And if the Lord prolongs his return, and he allows me to, I'll be back tomorrow at 1230. Have a blessed day, everyone.